Hey y'all, welcome to Life on Helton Creek. My name's Mimi Darcy, and um, we're checking on the cows today. We've got a new baby. You may have seen her in the previous video. She is, see, okay. We changed her name so Josie named her Glamour, which is a perfect name because she's solid black and she's shiny and she's gorgeous, but she's also rambunctious. So we kind of renamed her Punky or Spunky or whatever um, because y'all, she runs and jumps like no cap I've ever seen, especially to be as young as she is. Um, the background noise you're hearing is the cicadas. So let's talk about those for a minute. They are buzzing my head and flying all around, but I'm not jumping. I don't have my bee hat on. Uh, I really got some, I really got some crap over that video. And a lot of it was in fun. Uh, and a lot of it was not. I don't like flying things, I'm sorry. I don't like flying things that fly into my face or get in my hair and crawl. And when that, when they get on you, they kind of have, they kind of have legs like a grasshopper with the little things on them that grip. So they're not super easy to get out of your hair or off of your body or off of your nerves. So, but Apparently, I got on some people's nerves, and I'm sorry. Look in the creek. It's in the 60s today. We're kind of happy about that because we've had a couple of really hot days. So we are we're so we're totally enjoying the the uh, cooler weather. I'm gonna go to the garden next, but I wanted to show you, we're checking, I'm checking in on the calves. Everybody's at work and doing their thing today. And um, the story behind uh, Punky or Spunky, and we bought four uh, mama cows in September, I think. So of the four, one of them had a calf, and it came with her, with Mama. And the other was born not long after she got here. And then Spunky. So their mamas are Angus, and their daddy, the people we bought them from, had a full-blooded, uh, complete 100% Angus bull. Now, if, here, get up here. I'm trying to keep Rowdy from chasing the calves. Our bull is a limousine bull. Registered, 100%, full bloodline limousine bull. He is our second limousine bull, and we love him. Um, his name is Mick. I hadn't really got used to that yet. But... His name is Mick, and he's a hard-working dude. Oh, um... And that's him right there. So, he is a great baby maker. We've already had one crop out of him. We're waiting on our second to start. Uh, anyway, back to the story. So, Eve and... Spunky are both out of another bull, and they're both heifer calves, so we might get to keep them. And we need to keep them, as we have some older cows. Um, we have some older cows, and not that I'm ready to replace them yet, but it would be nice to have some heifers coming up to kind of fill in the gaps, uh, if you know what I mean. Everybody's got allergies. So, hopefully we're going to work that into the plan that we can put them up away from him until they are old enough and ready to breed. Um, cross your fingers. I'm really excited about it because they're both jet black, 
they'll make beautiful babies with ham. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. As far as the garden goes, uh, I'll go over there in a minute as soon as I get finished counting all the calves and um, cows and making sure that everybody's at home and You better get it. You better load up. You done made the bull mad now. I didn't do it. The dog did it. Rowdy just has a thing for chasing cows sometimes and it's going to get him killed. So right now he's under the Kubota trying to stay alive. Mm. These three are the curious calves. They really want to come up and be loved on and, and see what's going on and sniff and smell, but they're scared. And y'all, Kent has been in the middle of getting ready for hay season. He has been greasing all the tractors, fixing all the flat tires, uh, greasing and um, going over and going over all the equipment, the um, the disc mowers, the rake, the silage baler. Just getting everything ready, checking belts. I said changing oil already. Greasing up and getting everything ready because we're actually late cutting hay this year. Normally, Kent is cutting hay on or before Mother's Day. And this year, it is so wet. We've had so much rain. He's not able to get in the field. So that's, that's going to throw off our schedule. There's my boy. Pretty handsome. Uh, Rowdy, get back in that Kubota. He's pretty handsome, ain't he? Oh, and there's chili beans scratching the itch. So I turned around where I can keep an eye on him because no matter how much you love your bull and pet your bull and fool your bull and all of that, you never, ever trust a bull. Never. You also don't trust a bull around a cow for sure. But Chili Bean's over there, he's got an itch. He's got an itch. So it's a beautiful day. We're waiting, as you can see from the background, we're waiting on more rain, more storms, more... More bulls. <laughs> and this is why I don't walk back here because when they get upset and chase a dog, where is the dog gonna go? He's gonna come to me and I have nowhere to go. So. Anytime I'm out amongst these cows, I am not walking. I'm always in the Kubota where I have an exit strategy to get out of the way. A bull will hurt you. Okay, just for a little garden update. Pa's fixing to run the cultivators through here for me, but my tomatoes are looking really good. Uh, my potatoes are blooming. Oh, my potatoes are blooming. A lot of them are. I read that some people pinch the blooms out and then let them come out again. Uh, never done that, but they are, they are doing really well. As you can see, not a lot of bugs on them yet. Um, and you can see the, the sunflowers I left in the rows. Why not? Uh, doesn't look to be hurting anything. Doesn't look to be hurting any of the potatoes. So, this row is designer. 
That's what Pa calls them. Because they're just different kinds of potatoes that we're trying to grow. And uh, so he's going to run the cultivators through. And um, we're just going to see what we can do. These are all sunflowers about to pop. And I have read that these are good trap plants. And so far, so good. There are a few potato bugs here and there, but not, not very many, thank goodness. And when they do start to be a larger amount, then I will come through with my bucket of soapy water and take them all out on a dinner date. So this is the second row of, or this is the first and second row of tomatoes that I planted. Uh, this is a cucklebur, and there's pigweed and cuckleburrs all in here. And as you can see right here, I have been attempting to clean this row out by hand and by um, whatever you call that. So apparently a lot of people were not happy with my video about being scared of cicadas. I know they don't hurt you. I know they don't bite. I know they don't sting. Uh, I, I mean, I know all that. But y'all, at this. That's an exorbitant amount of cicadas. I mean, that's that's a lot. Okay? And they just fly around and hit you in the head. They fly around and I mean, they're, this is my bunny cage that I have to come out here and feed. And they're inside, they're outside, they're all over the bunny cage. And I don't know why, but they are. And I, <laughs> I don't know. So we came out to feed the bunnies and uh, we survived, didn't we, Tucker? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we survived it. So don't be too hard on me. Just because I have a little phobia of flying insects that are nearly the size of hummingbirds and like to just land on you and your hair and, <laughs> and everywhere else. So don't don't be so hard on me. And I know some of y'all said I made you nervous and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Look. This is the playhouse for the kids. I mean, that's just, that's just, a, that's just a lot of cicadas. Yeah. Just, it's just a lot, y'all. It's just a lot. <laughs>